Ay. Otra vez. Remember Tampa, the way she used to be, the places we would run to, the faces we would see. Yes, I remember Tampa, those precious memories, a city rising on the move, a simple yet progressive groove. I remember Tampa, and she remembers me. Remembers me. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay tuned now for the fastest 60 minutes in cable broadcast history. Live from the studios at TBCN, the home of the Tampa Native Show. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shock Armstrong to Shakey's Pizza, from Braddock Street to Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. And now, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella. She remembers me. Hi, Tampa Native Show fans. Welcome back to season 15. Wow. Let me say that again. That sounded so good. Yeah, say that again. Hi, Tampa Native Show fans. Welcome back to this season 15 of your Tampa Native Show. Alongside Steve Canella and Sally Nunez, I'm Mario Nunez. We'd like to welcome you, those fans that are just joining us this time for the first time, the very first time. Welcome to our weekly walk down memory lane. I guess you could say that, right, Steve? You know, it's true. I, I would, I would uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and tonight to is yeah. going to be no exception. Tonight we're going to be talking about, well, it's sort of a home field, uh, a home game for us if you want to look at it that way. That's right. We're going to be talking about University Square Mall, the place from whence this show is originating just this evening. It's a walk through the mall. A Every walk Thursday. through the mall. Walk and if the you mall. didn't yeah. know that, you know it now. That's where the studios of Tampa Bay Community Network are located currently, mm -hmm. right here inside of University Square Mall, currently known as University Mall. Opened in 1974. So much to talk about. You know, we had the occasion recently to talk about West Shore Mall and its history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we talked a little bit about Tampa Bay Center. We thought it was entirely appropriate to just keep going further north. That's right. And come and up here to University. Fowler Avenue just between 22nd Street and 15th Street and talk to you about University Mall tonight. We're so happy that you're there. You know, 170 plus live performances. It's really, really just been uh, an amazing uh, odyssey. We, I can't we're, believe it. We're into our fifth year of broadcasting. Mm -hmm. Darling, five years and going strong. Five years, yeah, that's a long time. September 1st. In front of a camera. September 1st, 2010, <laughs> we opened up uh, when we were broadcasting out of the studios. They're just uh, hard by the University of Tampa mm -hmm. complex mm -hmm. off of North B and North Boulevard. And look at us now, Stevie. Where has the time gone? Well, I mean, we keep asking long, ourselves that. Yeah. I mean, you know, here it is already the 1st of October, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know because itself. you've already been into the shopping malls Absolutely. and you've already yeah. been into the stores, Christmas is uh, 
right the around trees the trees are already out there, by well, the way. Yeah. We've been sharing a lot of memories, so put it that way. We've got some announcements yeah. to make right up at the top, so bear with us while we get through this. While you're getting ready to make your phone calls, you know, the Tampa Native Show is an entirely interactive uh, television broadcast. As you mm -hmm. can see, Steve's got Emails. his laptop here open. So we do take your uh, emails, but we certainly prefer your phone calls. Mm -hmm. When we get ready to ask for your phone calls, and we'll do that in just a few minutes, the number will give it to you then. I'll give it to you now. 15-minute girl, do it. 813-977-6800. 813-977-6800. Operators are standing by. If you'd like to queue in now, get in there first, as always, and, uh, and we'll get to you in just a couple of minutes. Listen, we are in that in that wonderful, magical time uh, of the year when it, we start to look ahead towards uh, the next year, 2015, broadcast year. And of course, along with that comes a fiduciary responsibility. Mm -hmm. Stevie, I love that word. Uh, <laughs> yes, of, you do. Of fundraising. And, uh, and, and so here we are. We're in that uh, special time. We like to say, as always, thank you to our sponsors who have been with us since the beginning and continue to share their generosity with us. We like to say thank you to our fans who mm -hmm. also help us by purchasing uh, those Tampa Natives t-shirts that we have for sale on our websites. All of that money that we put into a big giant pot goes to helping us produce this television show. So when you see us pull up in front of your place of business, uh, please don't, don't, don't lock the doors. Just, <laughs> just let us in and, uh, and share, share with us your hard-earned money so that we can keep this show on the air. And if you know of folks that might benefit from a sponsor partnership with the Tampa Native Show, we'd love to hear from them as well. So contact us. Good times at tampanativeshow.com is our email address, both to let us know that you'd like to be a sponsor of the show and to send us an email tonight. <clears throat> let me say, uh, on behalf of Steve and Sally and myself, a uh, thank you, a great big thank you, heartfelt thank you to our fans, our fans, arguably the best fans in the world, those that have been with mm -hmm. us since the very, very first since broadcast. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been broadcasting, as we said, for four years into our fifth year of broadcasting, and we know we've been here that long because along with bringing you over 170 live episodes. We've also shared births, we've shared mm -hmm. birth dates, mm -hmm. and tragically, we've also lost members of our fan, uh, yes, fan base have. and of our Tampa Native sh uh, fam show familia. Yeah. So that's kind of mm -hmm. how you know you've, I guess you've made it and you've established yourself because all of these things that happen to us throughout our daily lives happened to us here in this life cycle of the Tampa Native show. Mm -hmm. So uh, gone but not forgotten, and certainly we, uh, we, we remember you all fondly. Uh, those fans that are joining us again this week, welcome. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. We'd like to hear from you. Uh, real quickly, bring us up in that three shot so I can include my, my colleagues in this conversation. Darling, what did we do just yesterday? We went down to Ybor City in the morning and we met we with We went to <clears throat> Preservation, Tampa Preservation, Inc. Inc. Tampa yes. Preservation Inc. Yes. Tampa Preservation Society. They they do what we do, Stevie. Mm -hmm. Only they do it with buildings. If right. you can think of, mm -hmm. if, think of it in those terms. Oh yeah, absolutely. If, we're, if, if the Tampa Native Show is a repository for oral history, and 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 guests interviews, mm -hmm. Tampa Preservation Inc. does that, and they center themselves all around preserving those wonderful buildings. So we're preserving memories. They're preserving buildings. They're trying really said. hard. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Stevie. The first bell ring of the bell ring of the new season. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'd like to say hello and, and a shout out to Becky Clark. Danny Moody and Ryan Malloy, yes. and thank you for welcoming us into the offices yesterday. It was uh, fun. Linda Salcena was the one that mm -hmm. turned us on to that group. Nice. And we hope nice. to meet with her next time around. A lot of you may remember Linda, uh, having served on our city council, and uh, she's mm -hmm. very active in, in uh, preservation mm -hmm. as well. Great. You know, if you don't preserve your history, mm -hmm. after a while, it tends to kind of go away. Mm -hmm. That's true. And then you might just lose part of your history, losing part of your soul, your spirit, your identity. You know, we fought real and hard here recently. Absolutely. With J.C. Newman. Yep. Yeah, and, yeah. Sure and, and mm -hmm. you know, we, we just need to stay vigilant. So thank you to the Tampa Preservation mm -hmm. Society for inviting us to your meeting, and we hope to do much, much more with you in the coming months. Today, darling, where did we go today? Where did we go today? We went to the dentist, yes, our we favorite did. dentist in the whole city of Tampa. Yes, we did. Dr. Bill Geyer. Dr. Bill mm -hmm. Geyer, whose practices are up there in Lutz, just north on Dale Mabry, <coughs> far north on Dale Mabry, just north of the apex there. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Geyer is a, uh, a Hillsborough Terrier, yep. class of yep. 74, a Tampa native. Steve, you know because? Because his mother was my marine biology teacher at Hillsborough oh, High cool. School. And we'd like to say hello because Dr. Geyer is out there watching tonight. He's also a tremendous supporter of the mm -hmm. show. Yes. And he provides us with all the uh, needed attention. And, and uh, sparkling his, teeth. And sparkling clean teeth. And his, <laughs> and his staff is amazing as well. 
So when you go to the dentist there, it's really not like going to the dentist at all. It's like going to visit a family friend. It is. And uh, and, and, and and we thank you, Dr. Geyer, for your generosity. Uh, We also went two days ago to, um, yeah, no, no, just yesterday, incorporated it after we went to the Tampa Preservation Inc. meeting. We stopped by our favorite Yes. Uh, watering hole, as it were, in Ebor City. Steve, yes. sorry you couldn't be with us. I know you were working yesterday. Oh, yeah. We went to King we King were Corona. Working too. Okay. Corona Cigars and Cafe. Yeah. Yes. And who did we meet there? Who did we meet uh, there? A gentleman by the name oh, of that's, Frank yes, Del yes. Vecchio. Frank. Darling, it's in your nose. Frank. It's in your nose. Frank. Frank Del Vecchio. Who's Frank Del Vecchio, you might ask? Well, another Tampa native, <laughs> class of uh, 64, Chamberlain High School, Chamberlain mm-hmm. Chiefs. And most notably, he was a part of the uh, band back in the seven, 60s and 70s called Mighty Man. Manfred and the Wonder right. Dolls. Oh, wow. I remember them. Wonderful yeah. meeting you, Frank. Mm-hmm. And I we sure know do. you're out there watching tonight. Thanks so much for looking in on us. We look forward to meeting with you again very soon. And we encourage you to gather your pictures now because we want to have you mm-hmm. on, on the show, the show. Yep. very, very soon. He said he would come Frank on. Delecchio, How cool that is. Who knows Rodney Justo, wow. who knows Rodney yeah. Sibigal, who There's knows There's so Rodney many Garcia, musicians who knows from Tampa. All the musicians yeah. yep. that came out of Tampa yep. in the 60s and 70s. And he's a, an accomplished musician himself. So, Fantastic. Yes. Frank, we look forward to talking with you uh, very, and very soon. And having you on the show. That, and having you on the show. That'll be interesting And show. speaking of having you on the show and upcoming shows, look, I've got some notes here. I want to go ahead and, and, and kind of get, whet your appetite a little bit for the fans that are out there wondering, what are they going to do this season? Mm-hmm. How are they going to top next season? Mm-hmm. What is in the offing for the Tampa Native Show? Let me share with you. Next week, next week, October 9th, get ready. Mr. Arnold Martinez is going to be in studio with us. Steve, do you know who that man is? That is the, the artist. Yes, it is. In fact, in fact, I have one of his pictures I'm hanging in my house and right we, now. And he Where has a wonderful mm-hmm. studio right there on 19th Street, yep. just between 8th and 9th. Uh, right next to Centennial Park. Mm-hmm. Arnold will be with us next week to share his stories of growing up in Tampa. He's uh, uncle to Ronnie and Randy Martinez, right, right. our dear friends mm-hmm. as well. And if you don't know about Arnold, and we're going to show you some of the pictures and uh, some of the images of his work. He has, over the years, mm-hmm. devised an amazing uh, talent for mm-hmm. and, and a, an ability to paint with indigenous... Um, what am I trying to say, Steve? Indigenous um, materials, I guess. Pa- paint. The paint yeah. created from café con leche, coffee, coffee beans, and tobacco juice. And when you see these, they look like lithographs. These mm-hmm. are yeah, amazing, amazing pieces of art. In fact, next time you find yourself in Ybor City, bounce into the Columbia mm-hmm. Bank, which is directly across, catty corner across the street from the Columbia Restaurant on 21st and 7th. Bounce into the Columbia Bank, which is now U.S. America. I was going to say, that's and not where we the old, went. <laughs> the old Columbia Bank, now U.S. America Bank. And yeah. check out some of the magnificent yeah. pieces, yeah, some really originals, nice ones all there. right there on the wall of the bank. So, you know what? Speaking about that paint, I have the picture I have at home was painted with Cuban coffee. Yes, sir. And, and uh, Budweiser beer because it was a picture of a zebra from uh, Bush Gardens. I think he uses That's wine, too. I think yeah, I saw that on one of the So, Arnold items. will be right. here next week with us to tell us all Very about his amazing career. Yeah as an artist, mm-hmm. and maybe share some of his insider secrets mm-hmm. and insider tips. We also have, uh, uh, coming up in, in a future show, Dr. Benny, Dr. Benicio Menescalco, who works with Heartbeat International. Many mm-hmm. of you may know him. He's a renowned heart surgeon mm-hmm. here in Tampa, also a Tampa native. He's going to be coming in and talking to us about celebrating 30 years of wow. Heartbeat International, which is an organization, a nonprofit, mm-hmm. that provides uh, pacemakers. Uh, mm-hmm. for indigent patients around the world who otherwise couldn't afford them. Very nice. Central America, South America, Benny Maniscalco. Dr. Benny mm-hmm. Maniscalco will be here uh, later this month as Household well. Household name. How about another mm-hmm. name that you may or may not know? I'm going to throw this one out okay. at you, Steve. Let's see. Andy Lalino. Does that name sound familiar to you? You know, it does not at all. I didn't think so. No. <laughs> but you should because you got the same email I do. Andy Lalino was part of the production team uh, back in 1974. 1974, 40 years ago, they celebrate mm-hmm. their 40th uh, anniversary 40 reunion this year, movie that was filmed right here in Tampa, sort of a one of those B movies back in the day called Satan's Children. Oh my. I thought that would be an amazing show for Halloween. We're going to bring Andy in, and he thinks he might be able to bring in a couple of cast members from that original movie that was shot here in Tampa, and we'll talk about Satan's Children. That's coming up. Scary. All right, let me give you a couple more names. Just drop these names on you real quick. Jack Espinosa is going to be joining us in November. We're looking at possibly bringing in from St. Lawrence Catholic Church. Um, Tom Morgan. Tom Father, Morgan. Father, Father Tom. Tom. Father Tom. Father yeah. Tom's agreed to Tampa, come on the show. Tampa native. So he's a Tampa native as well and a, and a product of Tampa Catholic Tampa High School. Tampa Catholic High School. Went to school with my sister. And St. Lawrence yeah. as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about St. Lawrence, but definitely Tampa Catholic. Definitely Tampa Catholic. Yeah. So we have that to look forward to. Also today I spoke with on the phone 
you, you didn't know about this, surprise mm -hmm. to you, Steve. Uh, Saul Fleischman Jr. Oh, right. and Marty yeah. Fleischman. We talked to him before, didn't yep. we? Yep, he okay. called the show. That's and right. I, That's right. I reached out to him today, so they're going to be coming on the show together to talk great. about their oh, father, be great show. Big 13, and their respective careers. We had Arizona Jenkins. Arizona yep. Jenkins cornered me with his wheelchair <laughs> yes, at King Corona did. yesterday. He said, I better be on your show. That's right. Or else. He did say. I said, Arizona, we're going to bring you on. We're going to yeah. bring you on, and we may reach out to also uh, the congressman who represents St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. Councilman uh, Daryl Roussan, who all three of us went to Cuba together in July, hmm. so we're going to have them on the show as well. Do you see what we're doing here, folks? Do you see what we're doing? We're bringing in these wonderful people that represent all facets of Tampa. And they, they all have their own stories to tell. Uh, all their they own wonderful share. stories. Yeah. yeah. And I think the big allure and the big attraction <laughs> among just being with us here mm -hmm. in the studio, I mean, let's face it, where else <laughs> would you be Thursday night at 7 o'clock? But these shows will all be archived right. on the USF website server as part of their library's special collections. Special collections. So into perpetuity, these stories with Mr. Martinez, these stories with mm -hmm. Jack Espinosa, wonderful stories, the stories with the Fleischman brothers, they will live on years forever. And years from now. After we're gone, people will be able to access all of that. What a heck of a lineup, though. Yeah, pretty good, huh? That's, That's a lot of pretty good. good. Yeah, very I good. scooped you. You didn't know half of that stuff. <laughs> That's good, though. Surprises are good, and Steve mm -hmm. always loves those surprises. All right. So, thank <laughs> well, you for a lot. It's 17 minutes past Most the hour. Time. Thank you for allowing me to catch up real quick. That was and a lot kind of, of catch your appetite as to what is uh, in the offing here for the Tampa Native Show. Stevie, what are we talking about tonight, buddy? Well, tonight we're talking all things University Mall. You know, the um, the show we did on Tampa Bay Center and the one on the West Shore Plaza, they That's were right. very, very popular. You know mm -hmm. why? Because we have so many memories of, of the mall. We spent a lot of our social time there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Going to movies, sure. going to restaurants, dinners. Um, for me, I, I, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but I worked in the mall. Yes, I you worked did. at Camelot, this mall. Camelot Music, University Mall. Yes, sir. I have some great stories to talk about that a little bit later. But um, went to the uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Remember oh, I remember that. Of course yeah. we did. For uh, every, every the Friday night. The Stable Lounge. Stable Lounge. So there's so many memories that surround mm -hmm. uh, University Mall. And we've got some great pictures to show tonight, too. So Wonderful. Yeah. Let's get Can't wait. going. So shall yeah. we do a little bit of history, kind of get everybody excited yeah. about the information Let's, that we found out? Exactly. Now, now the 15-Minute Girl and I took the opportunity on Tuesday to go uh, to the office here. Yes, uh, we did. And, mm -hmm. and we, we just knocked on the door and walked right in and said, hi, you don't know us, but he we are the that. producers of the Tampa Native Show. <laughs> and this week, we are going to be uh, uh, revisiting the history of this wonderful mall, which is today called University Mall, but right. back in its original incarnation was called the University Square, Square Mall. Mall. So... Uh, and I asked a nice lady, uh, uh, a Kylie, Kylie, Keely, Keely, help me, baby. I don't remember Potter. her last Keely name. Potter. I asked I Keely Potter. Keely. I said, Keely, can you help us out? Can you can you find some information out for us? I mean, I'm sure there's a file folder right over there, just in that file cabinet, mm -hmm. right over there. Can you just pull out a few pictures of the old? We can take some what did you ask her initially, though? The first question you asked her, what was Keely? it? Keely. Are you from Tampa, darling? Are you from, <laughs> you, are you from here? She said, nope. nope. I'm sure not. And then I saw a lady walking across the office over there. I said, ma'am, excuse me. Is she from Tampa, Keeley? She said, nope. <laughs> and then there was another lady way in the back of the office, and I yelled at her, and I said, ma'am, pardon me. Keeley said, don't bother. She She's from not here from either. here either. So what are we finding out, Steve? There's nobody, no Tampa Ain't here. nobody left, no. man. Everybody's gone. Ain't nobody left. So with that said... <laughs> We had to go digging and scratching yeah. to find out some information. Yeah. What we did find out mm -hmm. was the mall has changed hands. Many times. Quite a few times. Probably as many as six to seven yeah. times wow. since it opened. Since the DiBartolo family opened it, uh, built mm -hmm. this in 1974. 24. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, and every time it changes hands, the new people come in and they just get the file cabinets mm -hmm. and toss them out. So, the original photos, the original yeah. lineup. Although, the interwebs, mm -hmm. the internet, things are preserved. And some people have done some research on mm -hmm. the mall and put it out there for us to find. Keely, thank you so much for sending us the link that you did send us because she did come through mm -hmm. with some she information. For she felt bad. Some very Short of time. She came very, yeah. And up against nice the clock. Cause I walked in Tuesday afternoon told her, we're on Thursday at 7. Mm. Yes. So I didn't give us? her a lot of time. <laughs> but she, to her credit, she went right away. She found some information, and she sent it to us. And, oh, by the way, Very helpful. she may not be from here. But her husband mm -hmm. went her husband to Lato. Oh, there you her go. Her husband is. And I asked her, I said, mm -hmm. well, you, yeah. oh, your husband, did your husband go to high school here? She said, yes. I said, Stevie, I said, where'd she go to high school? Where'd he go to high school? She goes, Lito High School. Lito. I said, Lito. <laughs> be correct. Maybe you mean Lato. But you know what? That's actually right. Is it really? Well, I don't know about that. I think, the, I think Lito. Because Lito? it's Italian. Yeah. It's, it's Italian. It's, it's so pronounced it's, Lito. Well, what do you know yeah. about that? I'm not going to ring the bell on you, Stevie. I, I disagree. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe somebody can call. We're gonna in have to agree to disagree. Lee to Lee to or Lee to. But, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. Leto was the first principal at the original Jefferson High School mm -hmm. on Highland Street. One of our Tampa natives, I'm sure, will call in and correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so well, you know, let's read this information. A lot of man. a lot of people, um, a lot of shoppers over the years, um, they got master's degrees at the university, but at the University Square Mall. Nice. Yeah, how about that? All right, I'll ring the bell on that one. <laughs> I'll ring the bell. Shake your head, Steve. Shake your head. All right. Like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, corn. It's like an echo. Here like comes the corn. All right, so here we go. Let me just say this. Uh -huh. Opening date for University Square Mall, and this would this be a good time to show that one little graphic that we have? Probably. The, the original um, graphic? Uh, yeah, let's do that. That would be number, that. number three. Number uh, three. Becky. Picture number three. You can go picture in picture if you want to. We all got a little bit to read here, Becky, so your call on that. You, you probably want to go here. Or, or I was going to give oh, this. Oh, that's fine. Let perfect, me do perfect. this. Okay. Let me do this, and then, Becky, you can, you can go picture in picture when it's appropriate. Opening date, August 15th, 1974. The developer, again, was Edward J. DiBartolo Corporation. The number of stores when it opened was 165. Number of anchor tenants was five, Steve. Mm -hmm. And the total retail floor area, get this, ladies and gentlemen, 1,300,000 square feet. That's quite a big mall. Yikes. The University Square Mall was officially dedicated August 15, 1974. The first anchor stores were Moss Brothers, and Ro Moss Brothers, mm -hmm. of course, of course, mm -hmm. and Robinsons <laughs> of Florida, opened along opened along with the mall. J.C. Penney came online October of 74, so just a couple of months mm -hmm. later, and then Sears, the last of the four original anchors, began business September of 1975. Burdines was added as a fifth anchor in 1983. So how about that for, for wonderful nostalgia as far as mm -hmm. the original anchors of the original mall. Right. Yeah, I had forgotten Moss that Brothers, Moss Brothers was Moss one of Brothers, ones. of course. And I remember those. Robinson's of Florida, which was mm -hmm. very cool back then. Yeah. Robinson's was a new store. J.C. Penney was everybody's store, every man's store. Yep. And of course, where did America shop, Steve? Sears. Sears, Sears. Sears. Of, course. of course. Where else are you going to get your craftsman tools? No, 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 darling, nowhere. I believe you're next. Nowhere else. Actually, I am. Oh, Steve. Oh, <laughs> darling. I believe you're next. <laughs> See, the other, you're the other, wrong. The other darling. Imagine that. <laughs> well, you know, additionally, there was a $48 million renovation of University Square that commenced with the uh, construction of a new two-level, mm -hmm. 188,300 square foot Dillard's uh, built on the north side of the original store. The new location was dedicated on November 1st, 1995. And, in fact, we may... Uh, we'll have Sally go so ahead. when it when yeah. it originally opened up, now it was only one level. It was only one level. It didn't yeah. get right. to that right. second level mm -hmm. until they opened up until they did the renovation in 1995. Right. Is that correct? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. In early 2001, Montgomery Ward went bust mm -hmm. with its store space reopened as a Burlington Coat Factory. Burlington Coat Factory. October 12, 2001. This was followed by the conversion of Burdines to Burdines Macy's on January 30th, 2004, with full Macy action coming on March 6, 2005. How about that? Macy action. That's kind of cool. That's I right. never had That's Macy action huh? stay, before. Stay, that, <laughs> stay with that picture again, if you'd like, Becky, because there's, there's something here This speaks directly to that picture. It says, right. a composite physical layout completed between August 1974 and September 1975 University Square originally featured four anchors and housed 908,700 908, leasable square feet. A Burdines built in 1983 is drawn in dark gray. With its completion, the complex enveloped 1,009,500 leasable square feet and assumed the title of largest shopping mall in the Tampa Bay area. Let wow, me read that I didn't again. Know that. Didn't know that. Largest hmm. shopping mall in the Tampa Bay area. Mm -hmm. If we were writing the copy today, mm -hmm. unfortunately, somebody would write the copy as largest shopping mall in Tampa Bay. In Tampa Bay. <laughs> unfortunately. And then I threw up a little bit in my mouth. Oh, no. But the, Mason, the Maison Blanche at University Square was rebranded as Dillard's in August of 1991. And if you remember, Maison Blanche was also kind of a... Mm -hmm. Maison Blanche. Maison Blanche. It was, it was kind really of a cool a store. Yeah. Was... Even if you couldn't pronounce it, you know, it was just a cool <laughs> store. You know... Who wants to read the next one? Well, let's bring up the next picture, which sure. would be picture number four. Mm -hmm. If you take um, another look at the graphic, it, it changes a little bit here. And uh, this one here now, this is a site plan showing the expanded shopping complex of 1996. And as you can see, a new Dillard's had been a, ha, was added with the old store shown in the dark gray area, mm -hmm. recycled as new tenant, tenant spaces. Uh, also, a 16-plex had also been built along with a, parking, with a large parking garage 
uh, renamed University Mall from the old University there you Square go. Mall. Uh, the retail hub now encompassed 1,235,000 leasable square feet. Mm -hmm. but you can see on that picture where um, that gray area below mm -hmm. Dillard's, um, it just got pushed out further into the parking lot, you know, no further north, you might yeah. say. And, and that's it, the parking yeah. garage, correct? And the, well, the parking the gray garage area? Is, well, the, the, gray, the, the parking garage is the gray area on the top of the of Dillard's. That's where we park right. now. That's where we come into the mall. Right. The gray area below is where they kind of pushed it out. Further and, made, and very and soon, shops, and very soon, we've got another uh, grand right. opening here. I believe mm -hmm. we were told uh, on Tuesday when we October came to the mall. October twenty second, second, October twenty yes. second, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and uh, I won't say what he told us, although maybe I might. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't, because I, maybe I won't. Uh, on on October twenty second, Stevie, mm -hmm. what's the name of the new new movie facility? It's the movie movie grill. MSG, MSG, MGS. MGS. It's um, Movie Grill Studio. Studio. Movie Grill Studio. What is it, Steve? Studio M Movie Grill. Studio. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> You'll it's find so out. As soon I know. As it it's so is. new. It's Studio <laughs> Movie Grill. That's and right. what and what makes it uh, unique? It's sort of like Bellagio up on Northdale yes. Mabry in that it's you can eat there. All of the seats are going to be reclining with yeah. the, with the with the tray table, mm -hmm. sort of like if you're in first class on a on an air yes. on a luxury liner <laughs> air, aircraft and. Uh, you're going to have weight service. You can you Very can eat while yeah. you're watching the movie. So it's going to be, com and we hope, mm -hmm. against hope, that maybe we might just strike up an accord with the management there. And maybe we might be able to have some Tampa Natives show activities there, whereby maybe we can show some of our uh, videos, our best mm -hmm. of videos, have mm -hmm. a, a little get together with some of our fans, or possibly if there's a special feature at Christmas time, maybe we can... Instead of going to the Tampa mm -hmm. Theater to watch a uh, Christmas story, uh, we can get our group together and watch a or couple of movies there. a Wonderful Life. Rent one yeah. of the theaters, because I think the theaters are going to be available for uh, for private parties as well. So, How many theaters are there, do you know? State? I think, you know, I think... There's um, more than one. No, certainly. no. I think there's... Just like six? Si no, there's there's quite a few. I'm not really? Sure. I don't know how many. Exactly. Twelve? We'll to, to find out. out. Hmm. We'll find out and get back All to right. you. All right. Very they do have a Facebook page, yeah. by the way, so you can you can uh, look that up on their Facebook page. We've got two callers waiting, so without further ado, let's go because this is this is what we do here on the Tampa Native Show. Highly interactive. We like to hear from our fans. We especially love our new callers. And tonight, when you do call in, be sure af after you give us your commentary that you give us your lucky Bolita drawing number, one to seventy-five. One to seventy-five. Uh, closest to without going over mm -hmm. at the end of the show is going to win this reusable bag. And what makes this bag not only interesting but timely? Have you heard what's happening in California here lately? Steve wouldn't no. have because he doesn't have a TV. But <laughs> darling, what's happening in California? In California, they're outlawing the plastic bags I because they're ending. That. Yes, because oh, they're ending good for up. California. They're ending up uh, in the marine. Uh, in, in the marina. Makes perfect sense. Uh, the, yeah, oh. Absolutely, they're yeah. ending up in the gyre and, and they're ending up polluting everywhere. So uh, good now. Currently, uh, if. If you want a plastic, if you want a plastic bag, either you're going to have to bring your own plastic bags, or you're going to have to pay for them yourself because everybody's going to these reusable. And that, of course, is uh, that's Tommy. Wow. Let's call him Tommy. That's BYOB. That's Tommy the Tampa Tarpon, man. Tommy doesn't sound strong no, enough. No, Tommy's not strong enough. That's Tyrone, man. That's Tyrone the Tampa <laughs> Tarpon. All right. It's Tyrone. He's our Tampa Tarpon, our Tampa native. He's so if cute. you want to win that bag, give us a call and give us. You're lucky we'll need a number before we hang up with you. Who's first, five or four? All right, caller, you're on the air with us here at the Tampa Native Show. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Angelo Rumor. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Angelo. Thanks Angelo. for calling, Angelo. man. You're the first caller in the new season, our 15th. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Thanks for watching tonight. You got My, memories? Um, the Antique Car Club that I'm the president of. Yes, sir. Uh, back in, in, I'm not sure of the exact dates, but like in 1982, mm -hmm. uh, we started putting on a car show inside the mall ah. on Father's Day. Oh, how cool. Right here in this mall. It, yeah. The University Square Mall at the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Hmm. And I guess we did that for about five or six years. Father's Day. And then the, uh, uh, a new Canadian company had, uh, had bought the the mall and, and then they didn't use it anymore. Hmm. But we were put we were getting thirty five dollars a car that we put in there, and we were putting twenty five cars in that mall. Wow. That's okay. A lot of cars. Okay. That's good. That's good. So that was a fundraising uh, vehicle. Vehicle. No pun yes. intended. Okay. Pun yes. was intended, right? Nice. There. <laughs> to uh, to kind of keep uh, keep you guys. Yeah. Keep sold. us active and yeah. uh, you know we we uh, have outings and things like that mm -hmm. for the members, but. Mm -hmm. um, what was great about that was to see 
on on a normal Father's Day, no one would, they'd all be home eating with their fathers. But when we started putting the cars in that mall, everybody was coming. Everybody wow. would start bringing their fathers in and eating at uh, in eating in the mall. And uh, nice. so you brought some business you with you. Sure did. You brought a lot of business. Very I mean, nice. the, the mall was was full on on Sunday on on Father's Day. Now, oh, interesting. And to see the old guys uh, looking at the old cars and everything. Yes. And yeah. uh, and just That's putting beautiful. a big smile on their face it was really it was really rewarding for us. Yeah, Angelo, um, two things come to mind. Next time we go to Cuba, you come with us. You're going to get the biggest smile on your face you've ever gotten on That's your true. face. And, and forget about your kids being born and your and your and your marriage to your lovely wife. Because when you see those cars <laughs> on the street in Cuba, all those 1957 cars and 56 and 50 you're going to just lose your mind because there are so many of them, and many of them are in pristine condition. And I think you mentioned just a moment ago that one of the nicest things about the car show was that it was Father's Day, and you brought the fathers in. Is that right? Right. Yeah, uh, well. And their families. Let me, let me correct you, or let me offer a correction. I think maybe one of the nicest things yeah. about having the car show here in the mall in June was that you were in the mall in June. In other words... You weren't outside in the heat and, and in the elements. And no better environment to show off right. a beautiful car than indoors, let's face it, with the lighting and so forth. And we used to bring in some beautiful cars. In fact, oh, I know. One, uh, one year we had a guy that had, um, I think it was an Australian weasel. It was a tank. Wow. Oh, wow. I, never heard that, it, I never heard of that. I haven't. It had the rubber wheels on it. Oh, man. And, uh, and it was a heavy piece of equipment, so... They let us bring it in last, and, right and, they, and we put it in just inside the doors because right. they were afraid it was going to crack the tile in there. Yikes. But you talk about uh, an attraction. Uh, I mean, that, it was just surrounded by people. Angelo, we, we, we just heard from our, our director mm -hmm. in our earpiece, and she's shouting at us saying, Do we have a picture of that weasel? <laughs> So if, if you can go back into the archives and find a picture that I think our fans, yeah. I know I'd love to see I've never heard it. of that. I'd very love cool. to see it. And, and, you know, maybe we should do a show with Angelo, man. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we said. should get Angelo in the studio to do a show because this isn't the yeah. first time you've called the show, Angelo. Right. And our fans know that you are very much uh, an, an antique car aficionado. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they all know that we rode with you on and, and right. your beautiful yes, 66 yes, drop top. 65, forgive me, mm -hmm. drop-top uh, Mustang, mm -hmm. uh, three years two ago years now. Ago. I can't believe that already. Yeah, no. Was it three? Almost, almost two oh years ago. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow. In the night parade. So maybe you might just want to consider mm -hmm. coming in and bringing some of those pictures, and we can talk. talk. Actually, if I would have known um, about this show earlier, I could have sent you a video of the car oh, show inside wow. the mall. Wow. Great. Okay. We'll send right. it to us anyway, that's, okay? That's our fault. That's, that's our fault for not getting that. to you sooner, Angelo. Yeah. But yeah. I'll, I'll t we'll, we'll take the... We'll take the hit on that one, but you get that to us anyway, because we can always upload that on the yeah, uh, website. Yeah, that'd be great. Or okay, can you do that? Can you do a VHS? Can you convert it? We can convert a VHS. Um, yeah, a little bit of they work. They have the but ability do to do that yeah. here at the studio. Or folks, we, we can what's do the it. natural? What's the natural here? Oh, a he, second show. Or have a show with Angelo yeah. where he shows that. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be great. That there would be go. best. I think. Angelo, just yeah. we'll so meet you for a cafe con leche. You get that to us. We'll convert it. We'll plan the show. How's that? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be terrific. Give me your bolita number. 24. 24. 24 it is. Ken Griffey Jr.? Junior Jr.? I don't know about Ken Griffey Jr. All right. Jr. Well, just that's the first number that pops into my mind. Willie Mays was 24. Too. All right. Thank, thank you, you so thank much, you, Angelo. We appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye. You, you too. Know, the cool thing about that video? Angelo knows his cars. Well, guess what's going to be in the background? All the different stores that were there. That's yep, what I'm saying. Yeah, no, see that's, all kinds of stuff. That's what's going to be great. And we hope, listen, yeah. we had the occasion. We got some pictures to show. We're going to get to our caller now, and then we're going to show some pictures because we did go around. Mm -hmm. Sally went around with her camera on Tuesday and yes, took I lots did. of pictures of the storefronts that either mm -hmm. remain as part of the original set mm -hmm. of, of stores or that at least the storefront itself has remained in its integrity, you know, and yeah. it's maybe a different mm -hmm. store renamed. Yeah. But uh, we're going to show those pictures to you in just a little bit. We met two fascinating gentlemen that still have we stores here did. for over 25 years now. So we're going to be talking about that in just a minute. Let's go to our caller on line five. We do have one line open, ladies and gentlemen. The number is Steve. The number is 977-6800. 977-6800. 813. <laughs> of course, he never we fails. To, we don't have to say that, do we? Yes, you do. You might. Yes. You do. Because if you're calling, we're out of yeah. town. All right. Caller, you're on the air with the Tampa Native Show. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, guys. It's David Benito calling. Hey, Dan. welcome back, David. Hey. How you doing? Nice to hear from you. Nice to hear you. Sorry I haven't been able to call in for a while. But we know you've been busy, yeah, man. We, we missed you. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, you know, being a 
South Tampa native. Yes. I did get to go to the, you know, I was a bit of a drive back then. Yes. To go to, uh, to, go to West um, University Mall. But That's right. Two things I remember, if my memory serves right, I think it was the German restaurant that was a kind of a darkened kind of, that was off in one of the corners. Yeah. I remember, didn't they have two separate movie theaters in the early days? They did, they had two. Yes. In the first, uh, when they first put the theater in, there were only two, two theaters at the time. Then they expanded to six, and now, you know, Cineplex, uh, 18 or 25, mm -hmm. to a 24 studios. But at the, at, in its first incarnation, there were only uh, two when they first put the theaters in. And, 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 they used to have two separate... Oh, separate, like on separate sides of the mall? Mm -hmm. On either end of the mall. I, I think I remember that, but they used to have two... You know, I, I, I can't. I don't I know can't, about that one. Can you can you speak to that, Steve? Well, I know you worked here. I know Mr. Dunderbox. Is that what you're speaking of? Uh, Dunderbox? No, the theaters. Uh, the, no, he's oh, talking the about the German restaurant. Oh, the theaters. I thought he. Okay. Um, no, he did. He he mentioned both. But I mean, right now, can you verify that there were two theaters, like on either end of the mall, because you worked um, here? You know, what, I, I remember theater? The, the theater in the back of the mall, on yeah. the north side of the mall. Correct. And that's when we, it was probably 1977, 78. We'd go well, see. Well, Rocky Horror Picture yeah, Show. Yeah. But there was one or two theaters, just one. I think there. No, I think there was two. I thought there were two as I well. Think there was two. Yeah. But not on different locations. Just one no, location split right exactly, there. Exactly. Exactly. And the, and the German restaurant that Davy is talking about. Yeah, that's Becky. That's picture number fourteen. If we could bring that up. There we go. Thunderbox. This is a great. Ask and you shall receive, my brother. There you go. Yeah. Does Mr. that look Thunderbox. familiar? Hasn't come up yet. I'm waiting wait for the delay here. Oh, there it is. Wow. One, two, three, and action. It's dark in there. There's, it looks like it's a. Uh, yeah, that's, that was it. There yeah. you go. That Mr. was it. Mr. Dunderbox. They were there 35 years at University Mall. They, they're still in existence right now over in uh, Tampa Palms. Right. Really? Of, uh, Bruce B. Downs. Bruce B. Downs. Yeah. Downs. Oh, yeah. Mm. I've been a couple of times. It's very, very nice. Yep. Uh, but they were in this mall. It, it, it was real long, a real long rectangular uh, stretch. As mm -hmm. you can see, the bar And was that's very just long. what Damien remembered, mm -hmm. too, because he said it was kind of dark. Kind of dark in there. Long, yeah. long walk it inside. Had all the German music. You felt like you were in Germany there, and it was just, it was Get wonderful. Get you a stein of beer. And that's what we do here on the Tampa Native Show, Damien. We take you right back, my brother. <laughs> I thought you were going to yeah. say we have a stein and of beer. <laughs> when, you know, the university opened and then, you know, about 20 years later, the mall opened, there wasn't much there then besides the mall and the university. That's true. Right? No, there wasn't. True. Yeah. There wasn't at all. Mm -hmm. Fowler was uh, maybe two lanes or four yeah. lanes yeah, at the Yeah, the two most. breweries yeah. there on 30th and the Fowler. Brewery, yeah, the brewery, you know. And that was it. wasn't yeah. much, you know, besides the mall and the, mm -hmm. you know. And the you take your life in your own hands if you try to be a pedestrian and cross the street out here now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's impossible now. Back then, yeah. you could ride your bike over here and it wouldn't be an issue. And I imagine a lot of a South long, Florida students yeah. did. That's how they got over here. A long bike ride from South Tampa. No, 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 from the, from, from the university, <laughs> not from South Tampa, for sure. Hey, Davey, give us your Bolita number. Well, since it's a new season, I'm going to, or a new number, I'm going to go to 48. 48. 48. Oh, 48. All right. Get in a 48. Get in a highlight player. All right, uh, Davian. Let's see, man. Tonight might be your night. All right, guys. Nice Thanks to hear from, you. from you. Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Right. That's great. What do you Got guys remember caller waiting? from University Mall? What do you remember? Donnie, you first? Um, what do I remember? Well, your son. since I wasn't here when it first opened, what do you um, remember? I remember bringing my firstborn son, Alex, here when my husband was in flight attendant training. Who was that? That's you. Oh, me. <laughs> And um, I stayed with mom and dad until yeah. we came out there. And we used to come to this mall because it was the closest one for mom. That's right. Mm. Yeah, she lived in Lutz. How about that? And wow. me? Okay, my turn. Yeah, your turn. Oh, gosh. Uh, the Stable Lounge coming out here on, on mm -hmm. the weekends, on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, living it up, living it up for the weekend and, and doing some disco dancing at the, at the lounge. Also, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we got caught up in that too, man. So you had to come out every weekend. With the rice, and, the lighters. Yeah, rice, water, lighters, water toast, water guns, you know, and it was great. And it got to be so much that after about a year and a half of every weekend, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, do you remember this, Steve? They would have like a simulcast, uh, a simul, uh, simultaneous, they had actors. They had people who oh, yeah, would yes. watch the show I remember right that. in front of the screen. Yeah, exactly. Acting the what they saw in this game was yeah. uh, it was amazing. It was, it was like a cult classic. Yeah, really. and, really and it still is. It still is. And it still is. Tim to Curry this, to this day. Tim Curry. Mm -hmm. It still is to this day. You can't hear the music, and not just a little to the Wanna left. Want to do the time warp again? Yeah. Well, Let's do <laughs> the time warp again. And, and the singer Meatloaf. Yes. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. The great Meatloaf. So that's I guess the earliest uh, fond remembrances, and of course this would be a great mm -hmm. time to show those pictures that we shot the yeah. other day. Let's okay. talk about the gentleman that. Stevie, what do you oh, remember? Oh, you know what? Well, 
of course, I worked at uh, Camelot Music. There you so go. You I said you had of, a couple of stories. A, Give them to us now. Well, um, mainly it was the restaurants there. Cause I, I would go to Chick-fil-A for lunch a lot of times, and mm -hmm. I think it was like 75 cents for a sandwich, you know, and 50 cents for a Coke. But the, the Italian pavilion was right next to it. And I'm sure people remember that. It had like a round, uh, curved uh, entrance when you mm -hmm. walk in. And you can get a slice of pizza, a big Sicilian slice of pizza, real thick, and, a, and a, maybe a Diet Coke for like total $1.50. And it was just fantastic. But um, we, were, we were at Camelot Music. Directly across from us was uh, K Jewelers, which I think we have a picture of that, too. And Aren't they still here? When, they are. When yeah. it was slow, we would kind of just stand out by the, by the threshold of Camelot Music, where you you know the entrance. And we look across the mall, and, and then the employees from K Jewelers were doing the same thing. They're just kind of standing there looking at us, and we're looking at them. And then we just kind of turn around and <laughs> go back in again. But it was just um, a great, great uh it was, job a, right it was after a good high mall. It was, it was a good fun. mall to work fun. at, too. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. There was a lot of traffic, you know, back mm -hmm. then. There's, of, there's a lot of things to do in the mall, too. And it was new, man. It was yeah, new and exciting. New. Oh, it was. I have a question for you, Steve. Um, and we'll get to our caller in just a second, and then we'll get to our pictures. Mm -hmm. The question I guess I have for you is, did you enjoy your time working here? Um, I mall? did. I did. And yeah. and did you really order a Diet Coke? That's just one of the... Because, well, you know, when you're 20 years um, old, what do you do with a Diet Coke? Coke. <laughs> yeah, of course. It wasn't Diet all right, let's take a little bit of a break. We've got a quick sponsor. Um, yeah, a quick video. Let's do that. Here's what we'll do. We'll take a quick break. We'll do the sponsor uh, video. Then we'll come back. We'll get this caller, and then we'll go to our uh, photographs because we've got, we want to introduce you to Mr. Tony Lolly, who is the proprietor of Mr. Man Menswear, or Mr. Man, as we just like mm -hmm. to call it, who's here in the mall currently. We've got his photograph, and we want to show it to you when we come back just after the break. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mario Nunez. Allow me to take a minute to introduce you to what I think is one of the most amazing opportunities to sponsor and promote your business on what's called the Tampa Native Show. The Tampa Native Show is a TV show live weekly dedicated to preserving the history and the stories that made Tampa great. Now, if you have a business right here in Tampa or you know someone that does, we'd like to hear from you. Amazing range broadcasts over Bright House, Verizon, and Comcast Somewhere in the neighborhood of 900,000 homes reached right here in Hillsborough County and worldwide on the web everywhere. If you'd like to be a part of something truly special, special not because I say so, special because the University of South Florida has deemed this a preservation project, so much so that they're housing all of our content on their website servers each and every week. If you'd like to reach that many fans, we'd like to hear from you. TampaNativesShow.com is how you can contact us. Once again, that's TampaNativesShow.com. We can't wait to hear from you. Let me just say on behalf of everybody that puts this show together on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock each and every week, salute and happy days. I'm Mario Nunez. We love you, Tampa, and we can't wait to hear from you. There you go. Well, darling and yes. Steve, darling and we Steve. have <laughs> 15 minutes left to go, so we've, meet, we've reached that mark. There's our 15-minute warning from our 15-minute girl. We've got a caller on line four. new season, too. Wow, man. It's going real fast. Let's get this caller and come back and show those pictures. Caller, you're on the air with the Tampa Native Show. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Big Mike from Orlando. Hey, Big, big wow. Mike. Big Mike, right there. Uh, see you guys. Time to enter the University of Fort Mall. Guys are looking good. Thank you. 15 minute girl, beautiful as always. Right there. Oh, you yeah. can call every week uh, and say that. <laughs> <laughs> and email, too. University. The only thing I did, the university thing was, of course, the stable lounge. That was there it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I used to, you know, we used to go in there now and then. But that whole area is, is a pretty cool area. I mean, uh, University uh, Restaurant was right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I was up heading farther time, uh, a long time. What a great place that was. And then, of course, wow. you get CDBs, which were, when that CDB. opened up, that, 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 was, that was a pretty cool thing, you know. And then you were talking about Rocky Horror Picture Show, you uh -huh. know. Well, my wife, Sherry Strawberry, yes. she's, like, she's nine years younger than me, and she used to always go to that stuff. You know, I wasn't into it. Yeah. So, a little story. Uh, we went to see Alice Cooper, which I, I know Alice Cooper for a little bit now through a friend of mine that's the stage manager, so we went to see him a few times. When the time I took my wife for the first time, the backdrop of Alice Cooper has the big eyes, you know, like that Rocky Horror. Yes. yes. And she says, that's now, man, he, he stole that from Rocky Horror. I said, well, wait a second, are you kidding me? So we go backstage afterwards to the meeting meet as soon as I walk in. I said, would you please tell her about that backdrop with those eyes and Rocky Horror? <laughs> and he said, that character was after me. Oh, right, really? Right, right. And yeah. now, like, I just, I just laugh like hell. And I remember, too, the, the red lips yeah. from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, too. Yes. Remember, that was yeah. part of the, 
That was still yeah. the well, you know, I never, I never, I never saw it. She used to go religious, you know, all the time. Sure. Post and people, you know, would uh, take a whole bag with them and everything at a university square mall, or you see them standing in line. What a with, mess we used uh, to make of the theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We made a mess of the theater. We couldn't do Rice, that now. water. <laughs> no. It was amazing that they never, even let us in there. <clears throat> well, that was a good mall, though. You know, I never. It was. You know, we never ventured off there. It, you know, West Shore was a place, Tampa Bay. Right, of course, yeah. of right. course. You know, for where we live, you know. It was uh, a drive. Right in, you know. And, uh, but it was a cool area up there. Cool, Actually, sure. Fowler Avenue is named after uh, Mr. Fowler's uh, family, which is uh, Fowler White, Gillen Boggs, big mm -hmm. wall firm that I worked for, like, from 80, from 78 till about 81. We talked about the runner, And I used to be sure Mr. Fowler yeah. away the state of Florida looking at the properties. Uh, this guy was uh, president, twice president of the American Bar Association. Wow. There you go. I mean, That's yeah, pretty heavy stuff. And his, his, his mother developed Temple Terrace. And that, That's that, right. Yep. Oh, wow. And when we talked about the, uh, the Temple Terrace show a few weeks yeah. back, maybe about five weeks ago now, we touched on that. We and we brought that little factoid out. But you just validated that for us. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bell ring for you, my brother. <laughs> Give us your bolita number. All right, man. Uh, Strawberry's going to do, uh, she wants 10. 10. ten. And I'm going to do 32 if somebody hasn't taken that. No, you got, ten, yeah. you got 10 and 32 coming right okay. at you. Good and, strategy. And for stick that, around man. because these pictures you're going to want to see as well. Thanks for calling, Big Mike. Oh, yeah. I love you guys, man. We'll see you sometime. Love you too. Okay. Okay. Likewise. okay. Before the Thank season, you. before the year's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you, bud. All right, man. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. Which was she? Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. So let's go to these pictures right quick. Let's start with, let's, let's start with Ron Johnson. We'll start with Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson of the Ron Johnson. He shoe would be doctors number, instant shoe repair. Number nine. Yep. Ten and eleven. Nine, ten, and eleven. We asked. There you go. We asked the uh, the nice lady uh, uh, Keely over the uh, at the, at the office. We asked her, Keely. Now, are there any original? Are there any sh stores here that are still here from the original time? She said, Well, not. We don't know from the original time because, of course, mm -hmm. that would have been 1974. But mm -hmm. the, two of the longest running are here, and they're here today which would have been Tuesday. So we bounced over there and we introduced ourselves to Shoe Doctors Instant Shoe Repair. The gentleman's name is Ron Johnson. And Ron, we know you're watching out there now. And if you, Ron, if you're watching, you got a few minutes left, pick up the phone and give us a call. <clears throat> Tell us that story that you told us about the Wall Street Journal. That was pretty cool. 813-977-6800. Yeah. You shared a wonderful story with us. Third generation shoe repair man. Third generation cobbler. Third generation wow. Geppetto. No, that was a puppet maker. That's a whole other story. But I thought he was a cobbler, too. Was not Geppetto a cobbler? I think he was. I think he was. There yes. you go. Third generation. And, and what a great story. Here's, thank you. And bring up that other picture, Beck, because we want to show, we want to show Ron, uh, we want to show Ron's, Ron animated, right, stopped what he was doing. He was, Very there nice he goes. Man. He came out and talked to us for a good 15 minutes. He was doing a shoe repair back there. Mm -hmm. Steve's got a great story that <laughs> he'd like to share with you maybe after we go off the air. Um, but Ron, He's been in that same location, Steve, I think for 25 years now. Yeah, that's amazing. Wasn't it? Okay? And it's just like you just like you would expect, man. He's got the three machines working, he's got three two employees mm -hmm. working with him and their and their hands, you know, they've got the uh, the apron on, the leather oh, yeah. front and apron. They know what they're doing. The, the hands are full of cordovan ink. Well, I don't even know what color cordovan it's, is. It's, it's a craft. kind of a really? rust. It's a craft. Burgundy it's, it's, color. It's really it's like a burgundy color, but you know, it is a dying art mm -hmm. is yes, what it is. it is. You know, it's almost like cigar making. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's not something that you see. People don't just go into re shoe repair anymore. That's handed down from grandfather to right. son to father, you know, to grandson. So, Ron, thank you so much for taking up your time. Look at this shop right there. That's, Th those that's are the machines that, that he works with each and every day. Well, you know I what? mean, there's no reason. If you buy a good pair of Tony Lama boots to throw away those boots, man, you just mm -hmm. have to resole them and reheal them. What were you going to say, well, Steve? Well, over the years, I've taken my shoes to the shoe doctor at the University Mall. In fact, I was uh, with a, a friend of mine, um, just recently, mm -hmm. I was telling him a story mm -hmm. um, about you know going to the shoe doctor, and he was kind of joking with me. He goes, "You know what? You, your shoes go to the doctor more than you do, actually." <laughs> and that's right. <laughs> but it's true. Sure. But it's, it's, but, well, uh, and very I, good, and though, I brought I mean. your name up when we met with yeah. Ron. I said, "I've got a dear friend. As a matter of fact, the gentleman that does a show with me, mm -hmm. he keeps his shoes. He's had <laughs> the same pair of shoes for forty years. <laughs> he doesn't well, throw them away. Quite. He just you no. Know, he just gets them. There you go. There he is. And um, so why don't we go ahead and do this?" Take this call because we just want to show you just how effective the and we're not lying. telemetry works we here. Make any of this but we do stuff. want to show you the pictures of Mr. Mann as well. So stand yes. by. Yeah. Caller, you're on the air with the Tampa Native Show. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Ron Johnson in Tampa. Well, how about Hi, that? Mr. Johnson, Hello, this is the first time calling the show? Yes. That's just for you, Ron. <laughs> hey, Ron, thanks so much for calling us. We were hoping that you'd pick up the phone and get inspired to call us. We've got a, just a few minutes left, Ron, but share with our viewers 
a little bit about the history of your shop and tell us about that Wall Street Journal article that you shared with us mm -hmm. that gave you those little goosebumps. Okay. Talk to us right here on the phone, Ron, because there's a little bit of a delay and it'll throw you off if you're waiting for the response on the TV. So just kind of turn away from the TV and talk to us on the phone. All right, this is Ron Johnson, the shoe doctor. <laughs> can you hear me? I can yes. hear you perfectly Loud fine. Clear. Keep going. All right. Uh, hey, how y'all guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We we're, are. we're in a little Let's bit of a time we're stuck warp right again. now. Ron, hey, <laughs> go ahead. I did want to, I'm glad you asked about that Wall Street Journal there story. You. Yes, there it's you a great go. story. What, what happened was... Uh, the Wall Street Journal sent a reporter down to my shoe repair there in University Mall, and she asked me, Ron, why am I here to see you? And I go, I don't know. I think you would know. And then she said that there was 150 shoe repairs within five miles of her office of the Wall Street Journal, and she came to me to get an interview and do a story into their paper. So she kept asking me, do you know why? And I said, I don't know. I'd like to pretend that because I'm the best shoe repair in the Tampa Bay area, but that probably isn't Wall Street Journal material. But she said she would let me know when the story came out. And uh, it went months, and they didn't respond to me, so I'm thinking, well, maybe it's just not newsworthy. So uh, all of a sudden I get a call and say it's going to be in Monday's paper, the Wall Street Journal, it's going to be starting on the front page of the paper, wow. and that my picture will be in the newspaper. So, of course, I go try to round up some newspapers, and then when I open it up and I see my picture, and I look at the date, the day that that went to print was exactly one year after my dad had died oh. and had done shoe repair all his life, wow. like mm. I had. Mm. Pretty cool. That is. So it, it, it just felt like that... You know that movie Ghost? Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're in that in between state with their soul. It felt like my dad was in the, his in between state and he somehow, in that time warp, reached whatever reached souls out. he needed to. Yeah. And uh, it was like a message from him to me. So, That's oh, a beautiful, That's interesting. Yeah. beautiful story, right? There. Yes. Oh, Ron, thanks for sharing it yes. with us. I know you yes. shared it with us on Tuesday in person. and. We got the same goosebumps you did telling the story, man. And there's no doubt about it. Your pop had a lot to do with that. Listen, give us your lucky number between 1 and 75. 71. 71, 71. is. Closest to without going over. You just might win one of those Tampa Natives reusable market bags tonight. So, Ron, thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank Even you. more so, thanks for answering our call for you to call in and for being in business, man, because, you know, we need your business. We need shoe repair people. Okay, we don't need to be going out and buying hundred dollar, two, three hundred dollar pairs of shoes every time we come see you. I certainly put do. Put a new heel on it, new sole, and right. here we go again. I go there all the time. Some while you're shopping the mall too. That's and that's right. That's exactly. right. Instant yeah. shoe mm -hmm. repair. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much, Thank Ron. You. Thank right. you for calling. Thanks for calling. We'll see you soon. Take care. Okay. Great. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Let's show yeah, those pictures real great. quick before we have to get out of here, Beck. Mr. We'll Mann, let's start with 12. To, and yeah, we'll actually, actually, just go to Mr. Mann. That let's start be, there, uh, and then we'll, yeah. run, we'll run through the last few. Number this is six, Tony Lolly. Yeah, six, T -O -N -Y, seven, and eight. T-O-N-Y, Tony Lolly, L-O-L-L-Y, Mr. Mann Menswear. Look at that storefront, ladies and gentlemen. There were three stores, I think, in Tampa. I thought he had one at Tampa Bay Center. I may be wrong Years on ago, that. I remember one. Uh, I thought Bay there Center. was one there, and I also thought, darling, you said there that you There was one next to... <clears throat> yes, where I worked at Northgate. Learners. Northgate, mm -hmm. at Northgate. Right next to my store. And this one, of course, has been here for the last 25 years. And listen, man, if you're looking for a pair of spats, if you're looking for a zoot suit, if you're looking to go to a party dressed mm -hmm. as Frank Sinatra, chairman mm -hmm. of the board, you ain't need to go nowhere else. Right there. But Mr. Man. Mm -hmm. Show that next picture, Beck. You know, there I, he is. I remember Tony from Tampa Bay Center. There he is. Back in the, in the there, 70s. And he's, and he's yeah. as affable and kind mm -hmm. yeah. and friendly. He comes Everybody right up to you. How are you doing? Mall. I remember him. <laughs> and that's his son right there, yeah. Tony Jr. He was very nice. And what a nice, what a nice man. And of course, you know, what what uh, what store named Mr. Mm -hmm. Man wouldn't be complete with the Goodfellas? That's right. And uh, yeah. and and Frank and the chairman of the board, the rat pack there, and <laughs> what what just it's just such a throwback, brother. You walk in there and all of a sudden. You know, you want to put your, your some, platforms some on, sharp -looking you want to put your baggy yeah. pants mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. and you want to go dancing. You just, and Tony always looks like he, like he looks there. He's always dressed to the yeah, nines. That's yes. the, 
That's the place to go. So come in and see Tony, Mr. Man, at the University Square Mall if you get a chance. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these pictures, Steve. Well, you know, I think this is this is after the renovation, what, in the 90s, I believe. Wow, really next photograph. Three minutes yeah. to go. I can't believe the show's almost coming and, to and a Becky, close. Becky, let's roll through some of these here. Um, there's another another view. Remember the, the fish Absolutely. up the ceiling? Absolutely. Look at Zales. Look at Zales. Zales. Still Zales. here. Still there. Look after the all these years. Yep. And what we found out was they're going to be merging with K Jewelers yes. mm -hmm. this year. So no more Zales, no more. There's, there's K. K. There's K. And they're like right across the hall from I, each other. Okay. They must have moved. They they're got, not, no, they're not in the same place exactly. Okay. There's another jewelry store there. Sears? And Sears, one of the original Sears. anchor stores Household as well. Yep. Beautiful, where America shops. And of course, and that's the front of our, that's TBCN. That's where we are. Yep. We are just inside that <laughs> wall right there, right now. If you look in the window, How you'll about see that? us. Got about two minutes to go. You know, Mike mentioned this earlier, uh, University Restaurant. We would be remiss if we didn't mention the University That's Restaurant, right. which we may come back and revisit a, again. A second show on that. We, we, we may very well do that. Hey, camera, cameraman, if you will, show. Nick, just spin that camera around. We'll get a quick shot while we're getting the bolita balls ready. Let's get a quick shot of the booth. Everybody in the booth smiling big. Stay right there, Mr. Gerald. We want to show you as well. If you want to go to the booth, there it is. Oh, three shot. Okay, we'll come back to the booth in just a minute. Darling, reach in there and get one. There's the booth. Everybody waving. Gerald Honeywell right there. Becky Yata, and, and there's Damian Garcia. Okay, Thanks, the guys. Number guys. Is What's the number, baby? 69. You know who oh, that is. You know what? You know who that is. First time caller. First time caller, Mr. Win. Ron Johnson yep. with number no. 71. Yes. No. Closest to without. Oh, Going he went over. over. Oh, gee. Oh, oh no, he that went, would he went mean over. It's Davian Benito. Oh, okay. okay. Davian Benito? Yes. Do we got to get him another bag? Yes, we do. <laughs> Oh, we could just all right, give one to Ron. Ron, we're going to give you one anyway, nice man. Guy. We're going to come see you. Got about a minute to go. <laughs> wow. Choose in there. Off and running. Be yeah. with us next week, please, ladies and gentlemen, because Arnold Martinez is going to be here. We're going to talk about his wonderful mm -hmm. career, being a Tampa native and all of his beautiful art. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to catch last week's mm -hmm. show, right after this show, Stay tuned. 949 Bright House, 36, 36 Verizon, you'll get last week's show, which was a really, really good show mm -hmm. as well. Off and running, boys and girls. Here we are. Off and 15. running. So, season 15. Grab your cups. I just want to say, listen, we are it's amazing. excited to be here, and we're going to keep doing this until we get it right. I think we're pretty close, though. <laughs> On behalf of everybody that puts this show together, thank you, Becky and Gerald, tonight for sitting in, thank Nick you. for running our cameras, mm -hmm. Damien as well for working sound. Yes. A lot this of help. is Very Steve much. Canella. That's Sally Nunez. I'm Mario Nunez. Salud, Salud and, and happy, happy days. days. We love you, Tampa. Yes, we do. See you next week. Thank you, everybody. Bye. -bye. Mm. What a great show. Fantastic. Good show, That's guys. a good show. A lot of memories. Back when we were younger And everything seemed new We used to have a lot of fun Yes, we did No matter what we do Sleepy days, long summer nights Going anywhere we please With love that I could call my own Love that I've always known The city that I call my home A home from which I never roam This love affair was meant to be I love her and she loves me I remember Tampa Oh, she remembers me Remembers me. I remember, I remember, yeah, yes I do. Oh, oh, I remember, I remember, yeah, me and you. I'm a Tampa native. Tampa Native Show.